box one is called the flip top box so I'm not going to do all the mats and layers I'm going to show you the basics of the box and of course you can resize them so we're going to go from this so this lid flips up and then it opens up and you've got that aperture and then it all falls down again and this is it in a bigger version and I was thinking about this as I was doing it I thought you know what you could put some beautiful really dimensional decoupage inside of there so it could be a card within a box which would look really nice so let me talk you through and show you the process of making this one this is the builder box so this is the basic net what they call a net and a net is one piece that all folds up to create a box okay so for box one this I've drawn this out because I think it's a nice way of having a guide but if you cut all the pieces and think right what goes where look at the net that's in your builder box so I've used the resize files now and I've taught you all this in the education so you can see that what I've done is I've resized these this is the front this is the side this is the back so I now know that the other side and the front wrap needs to go and get glued underneath there then the base which is this bit here needs to go underneath there and the lid which is here goes underneath this side okay so I'm going to pop that to one side because I've got my I've worked it out now I have folded and scored all the perforation lines okay and they're all mounting folds and then I've got red liner tape now you can use wet glue if you want just be aware that wet glue will squidge a little bit and I know red liner tape can be a little bit tricky but I thought for this it's easier so as I folded the score lines and put the red liner tape on I then took my scraper and I burnished that red liner tape down and I also burnished the score lines so I use this tool a lot and then red liner tape so I've got my tweezers now a little tip for red liner tape is once you've got the wrapper off it wants to stick to you like glue like this see <laughs> if you take it off and pop it straight onto a piece of kitchen roll it doesn't stick to you best tip look at that I'm actually quite happy with red liner tape now I've learned that now this tab here is going to stick underneath there so you need to be accurate when you're doing boxes and you'll have more time than I will so if some of mine are a little bit wonky please forgive me I am trying my best but we are under time restraints so now I've got that part then I'm going to stick the base onto here okay so when you've got a net if I just bring this back in you can see there's no tab here because it doesn't need one because it's a net so it's all one piece anyway when you're cutting them down as separate pieces you're going to have tabs so look at the main frame of the net and it will guide you as to where everything goes so to get my tweezers a little bit tighter there we go so this one is going to come off here and if I bring the net back in you can see that where the back is there the base sits onto there so that now goes so I'm lining up this perforation line and this edge so I'm doing that to there and before I commit to the stick I'm just checking that it's even like that and then I'm happy with that bit and then the lid on the net is there it's going to go here on this side okay so I'm going to take this tape off now there's a lot of taping goes on with this but actually I think so when I'm making cards I quite like using wet glue when I'm making boxes I like to use a dry adhesive just well I actually use a mix of both and you'll see that as we go through all the different boxes but a dry adhesive is instant so that's now stuck down I don't need to think about that again and with a wet glue especially when you're working on black it tends to leave marks right so what I'm going to do now is just kind of fold my box into place okay so the front and then the side and then the back 
and then the side and then that's the front wrap so bearing that in mind that's how that bit's going to go okay so the wrap folds out and then that all folds in so I can now see if I put this if I do this bit next and I fold these sides in that tab there needs glue on and it's going to stick inside there so just that part opens up so I need to turn this over this is how I put my tape on and I'm going to take my red liner tape sorry there's going to be a lot of me moving the card around but unfortunately I have to because I need to be able to see what I'm doing <laughs> otherwise that would be a bit of a disaster and then I've got some scissors now I just use regular scissors if you haven't got any like teflon coated ones normal scissors are fine just get some um, rubbing alcohol or hand sanitizer we've probably all got plenty of that and use that to clean your scissors other than that um, lighter fluid works really well as well like the zippo lighter fluid so whatever you can get your hands on right so now what i'm going to do is take the tape off this tab here this is the fiddliest bit getting the backing off here but that kitchen roll does help i have to say and then i'm going to fold that tab in and now what i'm doing is lining that up with that perforation line there so i've got the base the side the back the side and the front wrap so now i'm going to do this side working from the nets is really good so we did a net or a couple of nets for each box depending on what it required and then the resize files and the resize file as it is on the USB is also the same size as the as the net so the net you can take and work down in size and the resize files you start and work up in size if you're resizing so I need to get my tape off this bit here the front bit that tab that we just put the tape on and also off the tab at the bottom okay come on in you go tweezers are a godsend have to say although the light's not very good in here right there we go so what I'm going to do now is fold this over here like this and if you were going to use it as a proper box you could put some acetate behind here and as I get down I'm going to tuck that in now so that's going to tuck in so I'm gluing two pieces at once now so here and as long as I get that straight the other side will then just fit into place okay like that right so that's the front of my box open it up that bit so now we're going to work on the lid so the lid is going to work like this you've got the lid here and then you've got just have a look at the front there right so let's work this out together Put it like that this is your lid so you've got two triangles here and they are going to fold in and glue on this pan this middle panel okay so you've got your top of your lid there the front of your lid and this is a reinforcement piece and it also covers over these pieces okay so we're going to take the tape off here and the tape off here and you don't need to cover the whole square with tape this is the bit where you could use wet glue if you wanted to because it's going to be hidden anyway and another top tip with this kitchen roll don't try and put a piece on top of another piece because it doesn't catch it put it on a clean piece of kitchen roll that's the best thing ever <laughs> love that it makes it a whole lot easier so now what i'm going to do is pull I'm going to stand this box up so I can see pull that side over like that and then pull this side over like that 
So I've now got my triangles at the side and then this extra flap here tucks back in. They call it a strengthener, I call it a reinforcer, it's the same thing but you can then see now that the lid it tucks back in on itself okay so it strengthens that lid because that's the part that's going to get moved the most okay so I'm going to open this back out again I'm going to take this tape off and it's going to cover these two tabs that are here so that one and that one that's going to tuck inside now and then push it back nice and firmly so we now have our lid so then we close the front wrap close the lid over the top and that's your flip top box okay so that's box one then you would go ahead and cut all your decorative panels and your pattern panels but I've taught you all that in the education so make sure if you're watching this now and you haven't watched the education pause come watch the education and then come back to this because you have got 30 options of patterned panels for every single box if you just take that little journey into canvas workspace with me okay tidy up and go on to the next one